Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely T T V show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely T T V show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers, and once again, happy first day of Black History Month. So, if you guys do not know, there's a lot going on right now on social media. For the past few days, people have been begging Azealia Banks to come out of hiding and to speak on the Megan's Law, Meg Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, his Bigfoot drama, okay? So one of the top comments underneath her Instagram page was, where's Azealia Banks? We need you, honey. And they had over 6,000 likes. So people have been asking for days for Azealia Banks to appear. And just like Candyman, you say her name a few times, boom, here she goes. And she legit came online today and went on a 20 minute, I'm not gonna say a rant, cause she wasn't really ranting, she was just keeping it real, you know, per her opinion on the situation. So I thought it was very interesting, a lot of the stuff that she hit on, especially concerning Rock Nation and Jay-Z and Beyonce. Cause like I told you, um, you know, Nikki has been throwing shots for a while now at Jay-Z and Beyonce and Rock Nation and even Desiree Perez and saying that there's some type of consorted effort to take her out. So Azealia Banks is speaking on that. So we're gonna listen to what Azealia Banks had to say about the situation and then I will come back with the rest of my commentary. Hey guys. So originally I was just gonna stay out of this because it's just kind of like another day, another female rap beef, like who really cares? But I think there's some interesting parts to this that everyone's missing. This isn't about Meg collabing with Cardi. This isn't about whatever stupid ass excuse that he's making about her telling her to get an abortion to have a drink or whatever the fuck. This is about Jay-Z. This is about Jay-Z. And excuse me, because I'm not trying to be fresh at all. But um, Jay-Z has this way of kind of like presenting himself in the culture as like this Daddy Warbucks kind of figure. And this is my own estimate and my own just kind of theory. I think that women who choose rap as a path. Maybe like six or seven times out of 10 are lacking some sort of father figure in their life. You know, maybe the dad was absent, maybe the father's deceased. Um, just no male role models around. Um, and it's not so much a show of bravado, like, hey, I can do what the boys do. It's more like an inadvert inadvertent way of seeking closeness to men. Now, when you really, really, really dig down into it, Nikki be like sweating Jay in a different type of way. Like low key, she be like low key on his dick. Like it's so funny. I'm I'm really good at reading body language and stuff like that. I could see in the feeling myself video, like Beyonce's kind of just like laughing at her, like, huh, bitch, yeah, like you wish. And when they did the performance together, <laughs> Beyonce's like, no, I'm gonna wear pink. You wear black. She's like, oh, Nico. <laughs> It's funny. It's funny. Like, Beyonce is just sunning her, like, ha, -ha like, little bitch. You know, um, Jay-Z has kind of positioned himself in this way where almost every type of female artist, female urban artist, feels like she needs his approval of sorts, you know? And... Nikki has low-key, like, I could just 
feel that she's low key felt slighted by Jay. Just by just even by his association with Meek Mill, you know, and but she's also at the same time been trying to wiggle her way in. Like Nikki wants to be a Rock Nation girl, bad. That's what this beef is about. She want to be a Rock Nation girl so fucking bad, like you know, dating Nas. Like it's just like yeah, when you really pay attention, like her pitter pattering around and the way she's always like. That's why Jane Clear's verse for your album is just like, why you fucking care? When did you get a Jay-Z verse on your fucking record? Like, you know what I'm saying? But, and on top of that, like, it's been years, years since Jay-Z has co-signed, publicly co-signed any female rapper. And the fact that it's Megan, like, it could be anybody, you know what I mean? It could be, it could be fucking me, you know what I mean? It could be bad baby, it could be whoever. The fact that someone, some girl that is not Nikki got Jay-Z's public cosign, some female rapper that's not Nikki got Jay-Z's public cosign, makes Nikki jealous. It makes her feel jealous, um, and it makes her feel kind of alone. If you, like, pay attention, like, when these things kind of happen, all of those, like, young money guys are, like, kind of nowhere to be found, you know? And I know she felt really, really special when she aced that monster verse. But I, I think she may have gotten a little deluded. And, you know, Kanye's kind of just been, like, jiggling her back and forth or whatever. Like, you know, so, poor Kanye. Poor Kanye. He doesn't know how many women have, like, actually only entertained him because they wanted to eventually get to Jay. <laughs> Whew, okay, that's another conversation for another day. But, um, yeah. Nikki felt like she was supposed to be embraced by him in some way or whatever. And just to see him not give a fuck that she's saying Meek Mill killed, like, yeah. Just to see him not give a fuck that Meek Mill supposedly, allegedly, I don't know, beat her up. Um... And I'm not going to go into that because, you know, I've had my fair share of just men going fucking insane. I definitely have a smart mouth, but I don't I don't hit men because I'm of the belief that, like, if you hit a man, you should expect to be hit back. I don't believe in that. Like, oh, I'm a girl shit. Like, no, keep your hands to your fucking self. Um, but yeah, I have been assaulted, so I don't want to unravel that ball of yarn, but, um, Nikki's mad. She's mad that, and okay, I'm not even trying to diss Meg. But Meg isn't exact, like, Meg's not really, like, a typical Rock Nation girl. You know what I'm saying? She's still a little, like, you know, a little, like, ham hocks and hush puppies and shit like that. And Jay's real, like, um, he's real, like, ultra glow, fucking ethnic rhino. You know what I'm saying? Like. French femininity, kind of whatever, like very New York, so to speak. And I have a theory as to why he's dealing with Megan because I don't think he, I don't think, I don't think he likes her music. I really don't think Jay likes Meg's music. I don't think he thinks she's that attractive, really. 
But I think that Jay is eyeing. He's he's eyeing some like something with sports in Texas. He is. So he's got like Texas sweetheart, you know, and then he's gonna have like fucking Meg and the hotties. She's gonna be like the fucking like cheerleader for the fucking <laughs> football league or whatever the fuck he's plotting. Like because I mean let's be realistic. Like just like be realistic. She's got some cool songs. In fact, I liked her sound a lot more when she was with 1501. I think that they had the sauce for her. I don't think Jay really knows what to do. And it's kind of becoming really obvious that he doesn't know what to do. Because, I mean, we're not stupid. Like, where, where did this witness come from all of a fucking sudden? You know, like, people have been talking about this for, like, three years, then all of a sudden there's just, like, this random witness, like, okay, so, you know, we get the, 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 the Rihanna stimulus package here with Meg Thee Stallion, except Meg doesn't know how to shut up, you know, and stop fucking talking about it and, like, just do it. I really do think that Meg is going to be, like, a shit stain on Jay-Z's career. <laughs> Like, I, I really do think that. Um, and I say that with all due respect. Um, but Nikki is just mad that because she wants to be a fucking Rock Nation girl, you know? Like, she, there's no Wayne around. There's no... Yeah, she feels really vulnerable. Really vulnerable. And she is vulnerable um, because she's valuable. And she's kind of just been, like, left in the wild. And all of these white music execs are staging, you know, they're, they're just like, st they're just fucking eating her piece of the pie. Um, and I've said that time and time again, like, bitch, stop fucking arguing with, the, with these girls because it's not about these girls. It's about the white men behind them that want to eat your food. Like, it's, it's not about Doja. It's not about Cardi. It's about Lucas Gottswald and fucking Craig Kalman. Those are the two niggas that you need to be fucking, like, worried about. You know what I'm saying? But, um, yeah, she wants the protection of a rock nation. She wants the organization. She wants the organization and the prestige and, you know... <laughs> Nikki thinks her light skin card bangs as hard as, like, Beyonce's does and as hard as Rihanna's did, but it never banged them. Like, it was, it was like, never that. It was never that. Like, it was never that. And I think that, um, even girls like, like, Doja, like, Doja's, like, Doja's really pretty, you know what I'm saying? And she's, like, actually light skin. Like, her light skin card, like, hits. And Cardi's Latina, like, her light skin card just kind of hits by default. And, you know, for, for some time, Nikki was, like, feeling her little light-skinnedness, but she got reminded very quickly. So, yeah, just this kind of, like, false sense of superiority that she awarded herself on the back of just lobbing all sorts of anti-black shit at Little Kim, despite never, ever being a better rapper than Little Kim. Like, I'm sorry, hip-hop, you guys are fucking out of your mind. You're out of your mind. If you... <laughs> Nikki is not the queen of rap. No. She, like, y'all better listen to that nine record. Y'all better listen to that fucking nine record. Nikki could never. She could never be that hard. She could never be that, like... Like, Little Kim just, like... Mm. Little Kim is the best. I, I think Little Kim is the best rapper of all time. I think she's better than Jay-Z. Yes. Because Little Kim has style. She has, um, she, she has theater. She has just personality. She has performance. She has everything. Also, don't get me wrong. I do love, I love a lot of Jay-Z's music. But Little Kim is just a better artist than he is. But Little Kim is just a better artist than he is. 
and she's a better product than he is. She's a better, yeah, just the way she shapes her vowels and just her use of air and everything, like, yeah, he's the theater kid in me. Like, I'm paying attention to shit like that. Jay-Z, he, he doesn't have as much color as she does. He doesn't have as much variety as she does. Little Kim is the GOAT. It's not Jay-Z. It's Little Kim. But, yeah. Um, Nikki's mad. Nikki's mad. And, you know, she, her... Her shit is, is unorganized and she just doesn't know what to do. And yeah, it's, 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 it's pretty clear that Nikki's fucked up. Like she's, she's like fucked up financially, you know? Um, <laughs> I realized it when she was fucking frying the can of cream corn in the Teflon pan. I was just like, what in the welfare is happening right now? This is insane. Um, and whatever. I've probably like <laughs> made some fucking crazy looking shit on here, but I'm also not going around trying to like menace other artists and like call them broke and tell them to pay their rent and all that other shit like that. Like, you can tell just by whatever keeps happening with Nikki's butt that she's fucked up right now. Because there's something very fucking wrong with the butt. And I don't know what it is, but I, I do know that that surgery to get that shit out of there is a pretty penny. It's not like, you know, a boob reduction or like switching out for a new pair of, a new pair of bags. It's not like, it's not like a rhinoplasty. No, it's, I know that that procedure, especially con like, ugh, just considering like, ugh, like, you know, just how many fucking little pockets of just migrated stuff there probably is like yeah that's a very tedious thing and it's also like a very risky procedure that she can't afford to have right now and I mean I can't I I'm I'm not one to talk you know I will fucking I will be Miss Bussy until the end of fucking time okay and that's that on that I will be Miss Chibi until the end of time but an artist of her stature peddling press on nails. So I, I do a lot of sourcing and a lot of like, yeah, all day, all day. Sourcing agents, direct factory, whatever, whatever. I see what the um, price on these things are. And it just, it doesn't add up, you know, considering the number of streams and just doing a royalty calculation. It's like something, something is just really not adding up. Um, I don't, I don't believe the lie that she's not doing videos because she wants everyone to focus on the music. If you wanted us to focus on the music, you would not be like, beefing with Meg Thee Stallion. <laughs> because I've also, like, trust me, like, I have been, you know, making my own shit on my own dime, and I know what it's like. Like, I, I, I know what limited budget looks like. I'm just being honest. Like, I know what it, what it's, what it gives. Like, yeah, cartoon cover art. Like, <laughs> fuck it up. <laughs> Fuck it up. <laughs> oh, shit. Sometimes we gotta do what the fuck we gotta do, you know? But just be honest about that. I think that's more... I think that's a lot cooler. Like, just be honest about it. And just go all the way lo-fi, you know? 
because I definitely noticed it wasn't until your album drops that somebody put some money up for a stylist for you to rent clothes from brands that really don't want you in their shit. Oh, I hate that she does that. I hate that she fucking does that. Damn it. But again, it's like, okay, so even even though if Kanye did do the Barbie Yeezy, it would have it would have been the biggest selling Yeezy ever, and he probably would have got a seat on the board at Adidas. She just has this like stank thing, like stankness about her. That's just like Yeah, it's like hot sauce and spit kind of earring backs kind of just like ugh. I always think about that fucking photo with the cheese on the back of the fucking teeth you know um, it gives like aim toothpaste like cinnamon toothpaste <laughs> like just like stinky like a little smelly yeah I mean, even even like choosing the sky as a, ugh, it just smells like the hood, you know. It just smells like the fucking hood. Like it just smells like blackjack roach spray and fucking like dipsy doodles and shit. All right, so I know that was kind of long, but I wanted y'all to hear her full rant. I love how she says that she doesn't go around menacing other artists. Only people like Nikki do that. Azealia, I literally have about eight years worth of videos of me calling you out for menacing other artists, <laughs> but I digress. But she was making some very interesting points about this Jay-Z, Nicki Minaj situation, because you don't see Nicki Minaj, Jay-Z, and Beyonce hanging out. And it does seem like ever since Meg Thee Stallion, you know, started connecting with Rock Nation and blowing up, uh, she's been basically protected by Rock Nation and Jay-Z. I mean, let's not forget, Beyonce jumped on the I'm a Savage remix. She ended up winning the Grammy that year. You know, she also had WAP with Cardi B. So I do believe that Rock Nation definitely pulls some strings and makes sure that, you know, uh, Meg is okay. Let's not forget, Kelsey also said in her rap song that if she didn't, you know, um, you know, fall back or speak on whatever they wanted her to speak on, that a sex tape would drop, that Desiree Perez would drop a sex tape. <laughs> So, you know, they've been calling out Rock Nation for a while. Now, there's other people on TikTok who also got conspiracies concerning this and who are also saying that this beef is not really between Megan and Nikki, but that it's really Nikki beefing with Beyonce and Jay-Z because she even threw shots at Beyonce from what all the Beehive was saying when she dropped that song um, a few years ago. People kind of gave her the side eye, like, who is she talking about? I know she's not talking about B. So this person feels like she's really taking shots at Beyonce, but Meg is catching strays. So I want y'all to check this out. I met this. This is why Onika is mad. She's thrown several shots at Rock Nation because clearly Rock Nation is Jay Z and Jay Z is Beyonce and they're in support of Meg. My theory is, is. She really was mad when Beyonce bought Megan Thee Stallion out for the Renaissance tour, okay? Number one, they both from Texas. Let's be clear about that. But I think that Onika is pissed off because her and Beyonce once were friends. I think Beyonce tried to mentor her and get her to move how Megan is moving, but she wanted to get into it with all the girlies. And Beyonce like, I don't do that fucking and not move like this. I have a reputation. She's mad at Beyonce and Jay-Z, and they're so powerful. They're so pop. Uh, the uh, the Cobra video, and now his. Y'all know who paid for that? No effort into it. She was that angry, and allegedly this been sitting in the chamber for five years. She's over there. Just believe when them cameras is off. She telling them like, nigga, everybody's judging me because I married you. All right, so you guys just watched that video. So like I was saying. 
when she did the Say So remix with Doja Cat in there, I mean, it caused a lot of controversy because of the lyrics and people felt like that was definitely shade towards Beyonce. So y'all watch this clip really quick. Last Wednesday, the Beyonce and Megan Thee Stallion Savage remix dropped and it was everything we didn't know we needed. Queen B sneezed on the beat and the beat got sicker. Sorry, I had to. Anyway, she had a bunch of great lines like, I heard they asking for the queen, they brought some cameras in here. I'm a bad b he's a savage, no comparison here. But the lyric that has people talking is when Beyonce says, if you wanna see some real baby, here's your chance. Okay, so this lyric caught fans' attention because two days after Beyonce and Megan dropped their remix, Nicki and Doja Cat dropped theirs. And the Say So remix also took over the internet, but it wasn't just because of the collab, it was also because of some shady lines by Nicki. And what makes it even shadier is that the lines in question were seemingly added to the track after an earlier version of the remix was leaked. So did Nicki hear Beyonce's Savage remix and feel the need to respond? Well, this is what Nicki said. So towards the end of the track, around the three minute and 12 second mark, Nicki raps, why you talking about who body fake with all the fillers in your face, you just full of hate, that real ain't keep your home, now you looking silly, that's word to silicone. Let's rewind for a second and remember that in Beyonce's version of Savage, she did say if you wanna see some real baby, here's your chance. All right, so you guys just saw that clip and then on her latest song that just dropped on her latest album, Pink Print 2, um, basically she did a song with Future and that song is called Press Play. And in those lyrics, she not only talks about Beyonce, she talks about the father, the mother being a business owner, the father being a businessman. And then she says, I am your label's obsession. It's another guinea pig. So I believe that was a shot at Megan and Beyonce tied in one. And that label once again would be Rock Nation. So it's very interesting now that people are putting a lot of pieces together um, with what's going on behind the scenes. Another thing that's also being called out is when she went on her rant against Desiree Perez. And like I was telling you guys, um, you know, Kelsey also threw shots at Desiree because people have been talking about Desiree being shady for years, including Takashi 69 a few years ago when he also went on his rant. So on Twitter, Nikki says this, spending so much money but she's the little broke independent artist. Desiree, you gotta let it go, baby. The world knows she's ass and can't rap. Stop fucking trying to make fetch happen. Hashtag Bigfoot. I put out a song with no promo, no video. It's already number two. Then she goes on to say, on the next song, I'll dwell into all the people Desiree allegedly fired for unknown reasons, other things as well. So many people are blindsided and hurt by her, allegedly. She's willing to go broke to try and replace me. Fix it, Jesus. Hashtag good foot. So there is definitely a lot of beef and things brewing going on with Nicki Minaj, Rock Nation. So I think there's some truth to what Azealia is saying, to what the TikTokers are saying. There's definitely something going on behind the scenes concerning Jay-Z, Beyonce, Nicki, and Meg Thee Stallion. But I leave the question up to you guys. What do you guys think about all this? I look forward to seeing y'all's comments down below. Please don't forget to like the video. Feel free to share the video. Most importantly, make sure you still subscribe to the channel. I can't believe we're almost at a million subscribers. I am super happy about that. Thank you all so much for the support, and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.